They're like professional wrestlers. We've made it to Westminster Abbey. You guys, we have finally made it. We are finally going to the Tower of London. Cheers. Good job, everybody. Good job. To today's Yay. vlog, we are in London, England. Those horses could ride here if they came to you. That's right. You, you don't, you don't want to be kicked by those horses. So we are. They're, um, they're huge. They're like professional wrestlers. <laughs> of, of horses. Of horses. That's what their body type is. That's right. That's right. So we are um, going to visit Buckingham Palace. Right now. Can we jump back in the cab now? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to visit Buckingham Palace. The change in the guard already happened, but those were the, um, I guess, the horses that our cab driver, our taxi driver told us those are the horses that were there when they changed the guard, which we did not see, but we're going to go to Buckingham Palace so, anyway. What's and the see. change in the guards? So the guards are the ones that guard Buckingham Palace with yeah. those big fuzzy hats, yeah. and they only work for a certain amount of time, and then they change them out. Oh, like, you know so what I mean? And they do a ceremony once a day, oh, I think. So What's today? April, yeah, yeah. What? Like, I think they do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, that's it. Cool. All Wait, right, let's go. They stay there for days? No, no, no. They don't. They, but they do the ceremony oh, every oh, couple of days. Oh. But they actually do end up changing them out, but not in a big ceremony like oh, that okay. with the horses and all. All right, so that is. Yo, look at the Maserati. I think that's. Whoa. I think that's the Marble Arch. I think. All right, here we go. We've made it to Westminster Abbey. So beautiful. This is the church. I don't want to sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I think this is the church where um, Kate and Harry got married. Kate and William got married. Sorry about that. And Henry and or er, and Harry and Meghan. Beautiful. We did buy tickets to go in, and we didn't do that, so we're not going to go in. We only have a certain amount of time today, so we've decided we're going to spend our time at the Tower of London. Uh, 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 uh. These kids are obsessed with the guillotine. The evil oh yeah, I want to see the guillotine. Okay. I don't know why. I think I agree. I think it's pretty cool. Hey guys. So um, as you can see, there's four of us. And <laughs> Two of us, two of us are losing our heads, and two, and two of us, of us are geeking about it. So basically, <laughs> so we were on the on the tube, right? And we like <laughs> me and Brandon, <laughs> me and Brandon get on one side, Mom and Dad get on the other side, and so Ryan couldn't figure out which side to get. <laughs> and we look out the window, and the door was closing, and Ryan's and like, like, like banging on the glass. <laughs> and Ryan's like, Ryan's like, Ryan's like and, and, and mom and dad are like, stay, stay there. there. And mom and dad are like, stay there. Like, don't move. And just the, they're like both freaking out. I feel really bad because I like, I mean, he's like not with us. And he's like in like the underground of London by himself. But like, I think it's the funniest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Maybe we're going to find him so it's going to be okay. But I'm actually being myself. <laughs> we just look out and Ryan's like... <laughs> And they were, they're not vlogging because they're like scared, but I'm actually geeking about this, so I think it's funny. <laughs> this is the funniest thing that's ever happened. Of course, something like this would happen to us, though. Ryan. It's such a meme because it's Ryan. Oh, for sure. Okay, guys, we'll see you when we have a plan to get it back. We found him. <laughs> he is indeed alive. Was she gonna get on? Was she gonna get on? Are you gonna get on the train? It's good that you just stayed 
where you were. Yeah, so like it took a long time for like people to get off. And then you guys went on exit and well, you guys went in one way and then you guys went the other. I started going like, towards you and then Paul said, go. And I was like, go down and wait, I turned around and see what he said. I will never forget. We're driving like he's on the other side of the class and I go, and he goes, he's like, oh, and I'm like, Like through the glass, and I'm like, what do I do? And I was like, stay. <laughs> <laughs> and me and Brent were geeking. <laughs> okay, okay, this is why we should always have a plan. When, uh, yeah. yeah. You did a good job. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> he said somebody asked him if they, if they like, someone saw it happen. No, he said someone saw it happen. He said, hey, do you want me to stay with you until your parents get here? That's nice. Big boy. Alright, so what's the plan if we get lost again? Or I should say when we get lost again. So like sun's really bright and my eyes are hurting. So like we need some glasses with these and then with We don't have much of a choice. We kinda of narrowed it down to this or like this. Oh those are cute. They, like, they glow in the dark. Really? Uh, yeah, oh, I like those. The yeah. Are like, you totally ready? They're like yeah. kids' glasses. Though. Just, I'll just, this is our only choice. We're about to go in. I don't want your eyes to hurt. Which ones do you want? I'll take You need to go with the glow in the dark ones? Do you want me to lift you up so you can see it in the mirror? <laughs> like, I have to lift, look, I have to look right now. Watch this. <laughs> this is so childish. All right, fine. These are, these are good. They're good? Yeah. Okay. Right, let's go. You guys, we have finally made it. We are finally going to the Tower of London. We've been here for like six days. Hope it doesn't stink in there. We're finally coming. <laughs> I want to eat this in the uh, in the jail cell, the courtyard where the guillotine is. No. In the fortress. No, there's like a, a place in there where you can get food, right? Oh yeah, in the cafe. I want to eat in the cafe, but if it smells like death, then I'm gonna lose my. Oh yeah, oh, good point. It might smell like death in there. The Tower of London for the it's a Tower of Terror. I don't know. Dad wants to know if they serve beer. No, gin drinks. drinks. Oh, because they're beef eaters. Okay, you guys, let me explain to those of you who don't know what the Tower of London is. Okay, go ahead. The Tower of London is, it's a fortress. Again, I'm pretending like I know this stuff, but this is what I, I've been here one time before, but it's a fortress, a palace, and a jail. So it's a fortress because it... Holds the, holds the crown jewel. Crown jewel. So like the the crown that the queen wears and whatever, and it's like worth like a billion dollars. Yes. It's in there. And it's a jail because it's where they jailed a lot of people a long time ago. Like the king and queen, if they didn't like you, they would jail you there. And sometimes they would use the guillotine on you. And I'm not going to tell you what that is. But then it's also a palace. If you already know, then you know. It's also a palace because it's where they, they used to live, like way back in the day. We're going to find out more about this, though, which I'm very excited. Here we go. Alright you guys, we just came out of looking at the crown jewels. They were in that building right there. They were pretty cool. It was the Queen's like, um, crown and all the scepters and maces, swords. You want a crown? I'll buy you a crown. Yeah, I would love a crown. Yeah, you know I would wear it. Or I'd wear a tiara. I would like one place. Yes. Dad just got me a crown too from Disney World. Yes, they did. <laughs> he did. Dad did buy you two tiaras from Disney World. Where are they? I don't know. I'd like cake them. Cake. Aww. The Alright, let's go here Before and we'll we see get our armor. Admiral and go get tea. We are going to get tea next. Go to we're going to get tea next. No, we got two more things we want to see. We want to see the armor and we want to see the jail. Do you know what tea is? No. Tip from basketball. I don't know what it is. Oh. A tip? Like a tip ball? Technical fall. You are. Oh, a technical. I just want to do that. I want to be a basketball reference. Not you. Tech. You. Tech. Both out of you. <laughs> Uh, 
because we couldn't leave London without having afternoon tea. So we booked a reservation at this fancy restaurant called the, or fancy hotel, the Savoy. But we're a little underdressed, so. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, there's Queen Elizabeth. Do you want to go wash your yeah. hands? Let's talk like this. Oh, I think we have to because there's we're at the no, Savoy. There's no other way to talk. If yeah. you talk like Americans, you're going to get looked at. Oh, I understand. Can we go ask people? Oh, wait, wait. Yes, we're going to. Our reservations aren't until 6.15, but we're a little bit early, so, well, a lot early, so we're going to see if we can go in earlier than that. Look at how beautiful these pastries are. Where did Dad and Brennan go? Brennan went into the washroom, and Dad. Oh, oh Dad's over there looking at the portrait. So, anyway, we're going to see if we can get in early. Otherwise, we can wait till 6.15 for our afternoon tea reservations. Are you excited? Very. Should we go buy you a nicer shirt? <laughs> anyway, they did say that we would be okay. I asked yeah. about the dress code, so it's very fancy here and lots of people are dressed yeah. up. Brennan did a soccer, a football jersey. A football jersey, but she said that was okay. okay. All right, you guys, so our reservation, like we said, is at 6.15. They're gonna let us in at six o'clock, which is a little bit earlier. So we have about 15 minutes, so Dad and I decided to come up and have a cocktail. We are here at a very, very fancy lounge. Okay, get this. We opened up the menu book, like for, for the cocktails. The most expensive drink is 5,000 pounds. Now, 5,000 pounds in American dollars is about $6,200. For one drink. For one drink. Uh, so we opted for the very, very inexpensive <laughs> glass of wine and cocktail. Like, oh my gosh, can and you look what they give you for Look at, this is the fancy, look at, Thanks. these are the little snackies. These are cracker, uh, pepper crackers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. olives, mm -hmm. and mixed nuts. And it's in this fancy little stand. We are living large in London. <laughs> Loving it. Okay, so we've arrived at oh, afternoon no. tea. Brennan and Ryan, we're trying to explain exactly what's going to happen here. Dad's a little bit overwhelmed. He's not sure about it. He's like, it's too expensive. Did he say, was it, did he say that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. So here we have, this is our, we have a choice between a traditional high tea and a traditional almond. What? You do all the salmon? Okay. Brennan's, you like smoked salmon, right? <laughs> it's too expensive a piece. It's very beautiful. You pay for the atmosphere. We're, we, we're split, you guys, we're splurging. I got the afternoon tea. sweet. Well, the only difference is, well, look at the look at the dip, look at the sandwiches. Look at the sandwiches that are served. Do you see that? Right, <laughs> exactly. Look at the left. <laughs> we love our tea. Yes, it's worth an experience. Try it. See what you think. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it is. The piano is beautiful. The room is gorgeous. He is? Is that Nora Jones? Yes, it is. Or she is. She's right there. Very proud of all of you. Nice work. Do you, you, did, do you even know what you got? Do you remember what you got? <laughs> she got the high tea with salmon. I got the afternoon tea, uh, the strawberry, or raspberry. Cheers. Very nice. Cheers. Nice work, everybody. Good job. Dad opted out of tea. He's not. He decided not to do a tea at all. <laughs> Why did we bring this? We could have been like the ladies, two of us. What? It's an adventure. Brennan's got it going. He's gonna try it. He does have it going on. This isn't our tea, by the way. This is just our drinks. Yeah, these are just our drinks. <laughs> You guys, I completely forgot to record when they brought our tea, our cakes and pastries. They're all gone. This is the last one. They were so scones and cakes. And, but this is our tea. We all have tea. They're too much. Look at that. They are. They're having way too much fun at high tea. You are so funny. I am hot. We're having a very glorious time. It's wonderful here. Was so glorious. So Do you like that? Check out my Instagram. It's right all <laughs> Alright you guys, we are winding up our night. We are exhausted. What time is it? Down, winding down our night.
Oh, did I say winding up? We're winding up our night. Oh, we'd, we'd be, be getting, getting ready, ready to go out. out. Good point. We're winding down our night. We're all chained up. Lit. Okay. All right, so I think we should share what made us happy today. Ryan, what made you happy today? I'm getting lost. That made you happy? I'm getting, oh, I'm getting, getting fat. Yes. <laughs> uh, I totally agree with you. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we had tea. Tea was fun. That was and fun. And we went to the Tower of London. Tower of London is so cool. It was very like, cool. I love history, so. I'll share what made me happy today. What made me happy today was definitely finding Ryan. That was um, quite a harrowing experience. So finding Ryan made me happy. The second most thing that made me happy today was high tea with my family and <laughs> trying to force so <laughs> try to force Ryan to eat the chicken or the egg sandwich. That was pretty funny. It's a sort of a funny thing that happened during and when you tea. Want, and you, when you were mad at us. Cause I was mad because they wouldn't eat. You guys wouldn't try the sandwiches. No, oh. you just smell the sandwich. Just, just try by smelling it. And then we wouldn't smell it. She goes, smell the sandwich. And then everyone just started laughing. <laughs> it's an egg sandwich. They were all nervous about the mustard. I'm like, just smell the sandwich. No, and we all started disgusting. laughing. It, was, it smelled disgusting. Katie, how good was the egg sandwich? It was not as good as the... Um, Salmon. Yes. Oh, cream the cheese. Salmon? I wouldn't know because this that one ate so both good. of the salmon cream cheese sandwiches. Yeah, I, I did. Mm -hmm. Shrimp was the best sandwich. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because all the other ones were bad. <laughs> <laughs> what made you happy today, Brennan? Uh, today was utterly insane. It was awesome. We went to the Tower Bridge and we went to the palaces and we looked at the Abbey. And high tea probably was the most fun thing. We, we, didn't we spend like two hours there? We did. We so did. Easy. And we could have stayed longer. Ryan and I wanted to drink more tea, but Dad wouldn't let us. I, I, had, I had more crumpets to eat. <laughs> crumpets. I they were call, scones. I want to call crumpets. I think riding the underground was always fun. It is. I did like, I like the two. It's like a little puzzle like Dad says. How about you, Katie? What made you happy today, baby what girl? happy today was... Oh, we forgot. We did a... um. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Kate. We also did a um, Easter egg hunt, but anyway, go ahead, Kate. Oh, pathetic. Oh, yeah, I was laughing at Ryan. I literally, I don't think you guys understand how hard I was laughing when we lost Ryan. It was the funniest thing ever. Like standing on the train and watching us <laughs> go by him was the funniest thing I think I've ever experienced. It was actually hilarious, and everyone was flipping out Is except it? for me. And Brennan, Brennan wasn't flipping out either. We were both laughing, except Brennan was containing it better because I just laugh at situations that aren't appropriate to laugh at. <laughs> That's 100% true. It was really messed up because Mom was flipping out and Dad was flipping out inside, but <laughs> keeping it calm on the outside and Ryan was You can like, imagine why, though. I guess you guys were confident we were going to find him. I was hoping we were going to... No, was... Mom literally, like, when she flips out, she flips out all out. Like, on the outside, too. Dad? Dad's mm -hmm. a calm flipper outer. Sorry. Well, when things go poorly, he says, Cooper Heights. Mm. Sorry, keep our if, if you guys ever have an empty bottle, go like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, exactly. <laughs> Brian, you want to go back on the underground? All right, we'll see you later. What made you happy today, Michael John? Uh, I like the Savoy. I thought it was awesome. Yeah. I was the high tea place. It was one of the nicest um, hotels apparently in the world. Mm. So it was great. The service was awesome. The properness and the great service and the facility was awesome. So yeah, it was, it was great. Nice. Yeah. Very London pomp and circumstance. Great. Great Tower of London was dope. Tower of London was dope. Mm -hmm. It was dope. Not quite the service of the Savoy, though. <laughs> yeah, a little different. All right, you guys, we hope you That's enjoyed our... That's the service, so he's like, oh, this is awesome. Well, he wrote a book on it. We hope you guys enjoyed our vlog today. We certainly enjoyed living it and sharing it with you. And our trip to London is coming to an end. We fly out early tomorrow morning, so I'm kind of sad about that, but we are exhausted. I know. I'm looking forward to seeing our kitties, though. All right, so comment below. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> comment below what made you guys happy today. If this video made you smile or made you happy, please share it with someone. We'd like to share the happy. Or share it with somebody in London. Anybody sure. you know in London or the UK, share this video with. Or somebody that you know that would like or to go to London or has been to London. Or if you're from London, maybe you share it with somebody. Or if they have an accent. Else. Yeah, right. like somebody who likes high tea. Right. Somebody who's ever right. gotten lost on an underground. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who has ever had an Easter egg hunt. All right, you guys, if you didn't see our Easter egg hunt video, check it out right there. It was I fun. We did it. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being our family. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. 
Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.